Gotta say hi to Rainbow here. Hey, Rainbow. How's it going? <laughs> This is my grandma right here. She's the coolest person around. And she, she's gonna help us make cinnamon rolls. And uh, she's gonna teach us all about it. And this is my aunt here. She's gonna help us eat the cinnamon rolls. <laughs> well, what are we gonna do here? I'm gonna get some water first and heat it up. You don't wanna get it too hot or you'll kill your yeast. Yeah. So I'm gonna get it just real, real warm, but not hot. Okay. So. I'm gonna get the two cups of water. Okay, now the yeast, I'm gonna put that in a little cup to be warm enough for bubbling. And um, of course, when you get three packs of this stuff, you gotta cut it off. There we go, and put that in the cup. Roughly, we'll have maybe three dozen, maybe, to four. Three to three and a half dozen. Yeah. Cinnamon rolls. Oh boy. They should be about this size round. Okay. Now the ones I've been making, they've been fooling me. This new yeast I've been using, they puff up more. So I'm hoping they'll stay down if I get them thin enough. You don't want them puffy? Well, some people like them puffy, but we're wanting to try the old fashioned way this time. Mm, that sounds good. Got some warm water going on over yeah. here. Do, 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 do. Now I'm gonna fill it. Is it warm enough or is it too warm? It's too warm to use right now, but by, by the time I mess with everything else here, it might cool down enough, but I'll check it. I don't wanna kill the yeast. Don't wanna kill that yeast. Mm -hmm. That's immoral. <laughs> Now, I've got to get just a little bit of warm water, but not hot, to go and make that yeast raise. Take not quite a half a cup, and I'm going to just put a little bit of heat to it, but not very much. Let's see. I think I'll just do about 20 seconds and see if that's about right for that half a cup to put in that yeast. Don't want it to kill the yeast. If you kill the yeast, you got a mess. Save the and yeast. It stinks. Yeah. And you might as well throw it out. It'll work good. Teaspoon of sugar. Yeah. There. They like and, that sugar? Oh yeah. I'm gonna stir it up so it starts to work. Okay. Sometimes it foams like pour over the cup. Oh, so no. I suppose I'll put something under so it don't get on the table accidentally. Put something there. Now if it blows itself up, we'll have something to catch it. Okay. Yeast catcher. <laughs> I'm going to use one half of a stick of butter and soften it to use while I'm mixing up the uh, dough. This is part of the recipe. One half cup of butter. One half of a stick of butter. One stick is one half cup. That's what this recipe calls for. Oh, so you're doing the full stick. Yeah, that's a half cup. Okay. Let's see how we're doing. It's holding up pretty good. Getting a little soggy. I think it's all right to work now. I'll just turn the rest of this off. Half a cup of sugar. Put it right in there. Making some sugary butter. Mm -hmm. Could probably just stop right there. That looks pretty good. Well, if I use the blender, this uh, electric motor, that'll help it get done quicker. <laughs> electric motor. Yeah. Now I've, I've worn 
my beaters to it. There they are. I use these beaters so much I can't keep up with them. It's like they got legs on them. They kind of do have little legs. All right, we're going to mix, mix that sugar and that sugar and butter. butter. Sugary butter. Got a stick of butter and how much sugar? One and a half cup. Half cup of sugar. Yeah. Half a cup of butter and a half a cup of sugar. Well, that's that uh, one to one ratio. And something that I forget half the time, and I don't want to do that today, is salt. If you don't put the salt in, it tastes the blah, blah. So, got to put a little bit of salt in. Don't want too much because you don't want to spoil it. So what I'm going to do salt. is just get about a teaspoon over here. What did I do with my teaspoons? Okay, here. There's one. It'll work. That's about a teaspoon of salt. Now, usually this size recipe calls for a tablespoon of salt, but I don't like that much salt. Electric motor in action. Now I gotta put an egg in there. Since I've got small eggs, I think I'm gonna use two. It says they're large, but they don't look very large to me. And two eggs won't hurt it a bit. Here we go now. Just to make sure I don't get a shell in there. That who wants to eat shells in their cinnamon rolls? I so, do. So I'm gonna put this egg in this little bowl first to make sure I don't have an eggshell in it. No eggshell. Okay. No eggshell, hmm. good deal. What do the eggs do in there? Oh, the recipe calls for it. I guess it kind of gives it some color and some flavor, and, and um, maybe it helps stick it together. Who knows? Now, right now, I'm not going to take it to the table yet to work on it. I'm going to put a few things in first to get it to the point of where I put the last part of the flour in. Then when I start putting a whole mess of flour in, I'll move it to the table. Oh boy, we got this stuff going over here. Look at that stuff, it's blowing all over the top. Whoa. Oh boy, oh it's boy. It's a yeast volcano. Oh boy, that's what I said. It makes a mess sometimes, so I don't get it. Good thing we have that, fast. that yeah. yeast trap. Yeah, yep, that, that's okay. This is okay to use. Now if it was too hot, it would mess them eggs up and everything else. But I'm gonna put some flour in first to have a little more stuff put this in with so we don't mess up. Okay, I'm going to get a cup of flour here. That kind of prepares this a little bit for the liquid. This is half, I'm going to put a half cup of water in. It really likes that sugar, that yeast. Now I'm going to put another half a cup because it's not, it's not hot or nothing, so it's not going to hurt it, and it's lukewarm. This is my second cup of flour. We can take it up to six to eight cups depending on how it absorbs the flour and the feel of the batter when it gets to that point. Add the yeast mixture because we don't want to lose it by wearing it out. If you wear it out, that's just about as bad as, as um, killing it. So it has a limited lifespan. Well, it's best not to let it blow itself out too long. 
you might lose the... You don't want blown out yeast. No. Let's pour the rest of this in. And we're going to mix her in there. Now I might be able to get one to two more cups of flour in there and use the beater, but we'll just have to see how it goes. Six cups. This is just all-purpose flour. Unbleached. I don't like bleached flour. I don't know why, but I just think it's better unbleached. Now I'm going to have to turn this up, turn it up to the maximum, probably, since I had that six cups there. They make bread mixes, you know, that you can mix great big globs of bread, but this is just a little mix. This is the amount that I can't do any more flour with it now. I've got it to its maximum. Maximum flour. I mean, the beaters won't go that anymore, you know. Yeah. I kind of pushed it the way it is. I should. Yeah, to it's put a six, little to gummy. Put, to put six in there, you know, of flour with his little mixer, it's it's mm. pushing it. We're pushing it to the edge. You know, Rat to get it to work, even. Radical cooking. How's Grandpa doing? He said he was fine. You watching TV? Yep. To do the, the other stuff that needs to be done, like beating it to death. We're going to beat it to death. Yeah. <laughs> You don't kill the yeast, nope. but you do kill the, the dough. You beat, the, you beat the batter. You beat the batter. <laughs> beat the batter. You beat the batter. Okay. Now, probably I'll have this fire all over me and you and everybody else, because that's kind of the way I am. But I'll try not to throw it too far. Things might get crazy when we start beating batter. <laughs> Could fight back. Yeah, I've got now what I've got to do is get this to the consistency that it can be handled without sticking all over your fingers. That it can, you can touch it and it'll release. Release. Okay, now I'm going to put another cup of flour in. Because you can't work it if it sticks to your fingers. Can't have sticky batter. I'm gonna call it dough. Can you call it dough? Is dough an acceptable term? Huh? Can we call it dough? Is that an acceptable term or is it? Yeah, that's it. That's what I'm doing, making dough. Okay. Yeah. So dough and batter, kind of the same thing. Yeah. This is batter and it's dough. It's gonna be dough to make cinnamon rolls, or you can make light rolls out of this too. You know. You can make little round balls. Yeah. And have uh, hot light rolls out of it too, but yeah. I think we're concentrating on cinnamon rolls this time. Yeah. I still got some bread on the back porch I made the other couple of days ago that can be heated up in the toaster, the microwave, and slap Mi some butter on it, and you'd have hot bread, you know? Yeah. That was mini grandma. <laughs> First there was this one, and then there was that one. And then that little one that just ran away. Now you see this is still sticky. The consistency. And I have seven cups of flour in there. Uh-huh. What we put, the, put it into. And we had that two cups of water that I warmed up. And then we had a half a cup working the yeast. Now, yeah. And you can see that sticky as everything. It stick all over you. Mm -hmm. So we got to put some more flour in it. Now when I get down to the last part of having to work it on the table, I will work it with my hands. Then. Right now we're still, I can still mess with it with the spoon. And it's getting 